Okay guys, here's a video on how to upgrade any iPhone 4, 4S, 5. This also work on the iPod Touch 5th generation. And the iPad Mini, iPad 2, and iPad with Retina. This is how to update it to iOS 7 Beta. Now, you first thing you need to know is you need to make a backup of your phone because this can delete your information. Most of the time it won't, but it can delete your information. Make a backup of your phone, and then once you've made a backup, make a separate backup. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click Backup Now. You're going to go up here to the name, click, and I just name it iOS 7. So once you change the name, click Backup Now again. Once you see that, you're going to go to iTunes, Preferences, Devices, and you should see your new iPhone here. Now I haven't done, of course, another backup, but that's what you do. The reason why is once you go to iOS 7, if you decide to downgrade later, you cannot restore from a backup from iOS 7. This is a very clear feature, not feature, uh, instability problem with iOS 7. This always happens with any new iOS version. If you make a backup of a newer version, you cannot restore it to a older version. That's some of the stuff to get out of the way. Again, iOS 7 is in beta. This will work on any iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad that is supported by iOS 7. You can find that out by going to apple.com. This is an upgrade from a current iOS that is being signed by Apple. Without further ado, the only thing you need for this is your iPhone or iPod or iPad, the latest version of iTunes, and your IPSW. Now, I can't link you to the IPSWs, uh, the firmware folders or firmware bundles for your iPhone, iPod, and iPad, but you can pretty much search the internet and find them. They're not very hard. So once you download that, the only thing you're going to do is you're going to, on a Mac, you're going to hold Option. On a Windows, you're going to hold Shift. So hold that button and click on Check for Update. It's going to open up a window. You're going to click on the iOS 7 version that you want to do. I have iOS 7.0 Beta 1 and click Open. You're going to say iTunes will update your iPhone to iOS 7 and will verify the update with Apple. Click Update and you're good to go. Let it finish, let it go through and you're good to go. You do not need a UDID for this activation on iOS 7 Beta 1. I don't know about any future betas. You also do not need to activate your phone. Uh, most of the time, none of your information will be erased because you're just updating the software. You're not erasing the, as, um, the flash memory that's in your phone. So we're going to go ahead and let this update real quick. But basically, that's all you need to do. You shouldn't get any errors with this or anything. If you are, there's probably something wrong with your computer. Try restarting it or reinstalling iTunes. But once you're done, you'll have iOS 7. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the leave them in the uh, the comments below. Sorry. Uh, oh, one more thing. Um, if you are going to update to iOS 7, remember if you do downgrade to delete your iCloud account off the phone before you downgrade because it might cause some problems. Second, make sure your phone has enough battery when you're doing this. Don't update at 1%. Of course, it will be plugged in, but just don't do it. A couple other things, um, like I said, make sure you do a backup. I will be doing a separate securities video on the iOS 7. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to mention here. I think that is it for iOS 7. There's not really a big hassle or anything. We're going to let it update. This should take about 5 to 10 minutes. I'm trying to think about anything that I need to say um, that you should do before you update. I don't think so. Just back up all your information, transfer it to your computer, transfer all your apps, your music and everything. So we'll go ahead and let this go through. You can skip ahead if you want. I will be doing a video on how to install OS 10.9 Mavericks. If you're interested in that, look it up on my channel. If you need to downgrade from iOS 7, I have a video on that as well.
I will also have a video, like I said, on the security features of iOS 7 and how it'll help you if someone does steal your phone to make sure they can never use it again. This will be a big deterrent for people buying stolen phones, selling stolen phones, and stealing phones, of course. Let it update the firmware. I know there's something I forgot that I was supposed to say. I don't think that's a good thing to mention, but I think there was something that I forgot to say. One thing, make sure your iTunes is updated on your computer. Make sure you have the IPSW. It looks like it's almost done here. It should just verify that the firmware was updated. All right, so it's now it's down up, updating. We'll go ahead and wait for it to restart here to show you that I am running iOS 7. You should get your phone restarting with a new Apple logo, which is just a plain white Apple and the subtle bar progress bar. Alright, let's click on the iPhone here, and as you can see, I am running iOS 7. Alright guys, if you have any questions, comment, concerns, leave them in the comments or message me. Uh, thank you. Have a good day.